a, a totally defensive move. I mean, there was a time where uh, there was no relationship between social conservatives and the sort of market fundamentalist Republicans. I mean, there for a long time, right? I mean, uh, prior really until uh, the 60s, late 60s into the 70s, uh, the evangelicals were not terribly associated with the Republican Party. They, these were not the same programs, right? I mean, I think Eric Levitz uh, wrote, uh, uh, had a, had a graph in, in his response to this where, you know, being against abortion does not necessarily mean that you want tax breaks for oil refineries. You know, these things don't necessarily coincide, but they've been able to cobble together this um, coalition. And uh, if anything, this breaks it apart, and that's going to further hurt the right. It will infringe perhaps a little bit on the left, but uh, because there are people who... But that, know, that being said, because they won't follow through, right? Like if, if they got into power and they exploited people's xenophobia and they actually pushed for say like a public option on health, like just stipulate that Trump wasn't complete scam artist and bullshit. What if in the first couple of weeks you had a Muslim ban, you had all of these things that pay to people's fear and bigotry, and you had a stimulus plan, and you had a public option, and you had tax increases for the rich, that would be a, a pretty terrifying well, that's the, thing to respond to. The real question and is... And that is happening in some European happening countries. Happening in Europe. Uh, yes. I don't know. And I think when, when Trump got elected, we were... That was a we big question. We were concerned about that. That was a big question. You know, what if he comes in with, like, a, a, a you know, an, infra, an actual infrastructure program where we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna put billions into uh, training? Uh, Jamie's right, that right. like Schumer would right. be like, you should be a little bit more polite to Muslims, but this infrastructure bill is way too hard on the Wall Street banks. Well, yeah. <laughs> it would be fucked. Uh, it would have been interesting to see uh, what happened, but uh, Donald Trump, of course, turns out not to be uh, that fantasy Donald Trump that I don't know who thought, but, uh, well, I do. I have ideas of who thought that, but uh, oh, we're not going to Um but, all right, well, listen, um, we have a special guest. I want to make sure that we bring him out. Um, yeah. And then we, uh, we're going to open up some questions, and we also have a we video should, of yeah. a very disturbing thing that's happening amongst listeners of the show. <laughs> but, uh, before we get there, uh, I want to bring out a very good friend of mine, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, he is the voice of the majority. <laughs> 